What's going on guys? It's your boy Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and this is my 25th weapon review from Ubisoft's latest release, The Division. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Tactical Mark 16 Assault Rifle. But before I get into the review, here are some basic stats and weapon info for you on the Mark 16. The country of origin is Belgium. The rate of fire is 625 rounds per minute. The magazine is 30 rounds. The fire type is full auto only and the reload speed is somewhere around 2.25 seconds. Entering service in 2009 and originally designed by Fabrique Nationale de Herstal for the US SOCOM, the FN SCAR rifles are constructed to be completely modular, including barrel changes to switch between calibers. FN developed two different versions of the SCAR, which include the Mark 16, or SCAR L, or light variant, which I covered in review number 15, and the SCAR H, or heavy variant, also known as the Mark 17, which I covered in review number 23. SOCOM originally planned to use both the L and H versions, but later canceled their purchase of the L versions and planned to remove the rifle from their inventories by 2013. The SCAR L fires the standardized 5.56 by 45 mm NATO rounds from 30 round Stanag box magazines and is often referred to as the Mark 16 Mod Zero. Our The Division variant is called the tactical version and is more than likely the SCAR L CQC or Close Quarters Combat and is equipped with a short 10 inch barrel. It seems like every other day I am reviewing another weapon from noted Belgian arms manufacturer Fabrique Nationale de Herstel. I reviewed the standard SCAR L in review number 15 and it received a 4 out of 5 stars as a weapon with potential but was plagued with heavy vertical recoil under full auto firing. Now it is the tactical Mark 16 or SCAR L CQC and it was almost identical to the standard SCAR L in most categories. It does look slightly different with its telescoping stock and shortened barrel but fires and handles almost identical to its bigger brother, the SCAR L. What I'm looking for is stability and accuracy, and while the Mark 16 is not bad, it still shakes around while firing under full auto. I found the vertical recoil to be present, but not overwhelming, and it was the shaking and jumping around under full auto that bothers me the most. The fire rate is a little slow at 625 rounds per minute, but I never felt like I needed more RPM because I was losing close quarters engagements. My mods would center around grip and barrel attachments as the vertical recoil and more importantly the full auto shaking will need to be tamed down. I would also consider equipping the steady hands perk to allow more controlled firing from behind cover. I'm going to rate the tactical mark 16 a 4 out of 5 stars. Just like the SCAR L this weapon shows potential and perhaps with heavy modding centered around stability and accuracy it can be an excellent weapon but in its current state it has too many needs to be awarded a 5 out of 5 stars. FN makes a formidable weapon platform but with the current programming state of average stability and accuracy for the assault rifles perhaps a smoother SMG or even the burst fire FN FAL would better suit your needs. As always I would love to hear your thoughts on this weapon. Feel free to leave your opinions in the comment section below. In addition, if you could take the time to rate the video with a thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. If you would like some more Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and my weapon reviews in your life, follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash ltbuzzlightbeer. Remember to check out my channel daily for updates, and I will leave a link in the description below to the rest of my The Division weapon reviews. Remember for my channel, likes, comments, subs are loved. This has been your boy Buzz saying peace out.